Hey, welcome back to another help, hopefully helpful video from FreeSat Spares. We're an independent seller of satellite, uh, including FreeSat equipment. We sell mainly to the UK markets, but we can ship all over Europe, even with Brexit. But anyway, today I thought I'd talk about the smallest current satellite TV box for the FreeSat platform that you can buy today. This is the Manhattan SX box. You can see, if you look at the size of my hand, the whole box is smaller than my hand. These boxes are brilliant if you just want to receive TV. They do have a few smart features, but very, very limited. Um, it connects to one feed from your satellite, so there is no recording. It's just broadcast reception. But the best thing about these boxes, great if you want them in a second room because they're so small and thin. You can literally, I know it looks really close to this. Again, look at the size of it, smaller than my hand. Um, it will slide down the back of a, t a flat screen TV hung on a wall easy um, and doesn't take up much space at all. Probably the size of about two packs of playing cards, I guess. Um, so let's quickly look at the back. Satellite in. Internet in, HDMI out, an AV connector, which it does come with a special lead if you don't have HDMI, and a power connector. Runs off 12 volt. So again, if you uh, if you are maybe wanting to use this in a caravan, these are brilliant for that. So if you've got a mobile system of some sort, caravan, or if you work away a bit, these are probably the box to go for. Um. What else to say about them? Low power consumption, less than two amps power consumption. So again, if you're running off batteries, box comes with, like I said, special AV connector for older TVs Ooh. and a SCART adapter, HDMI lead, a power pack and a very small remote control. Now the box does have a USB socket on the side and I've got to be honest, I've never used it. I'm not sure if that is, it may have a media player playback, but we'll plug it into the telly. Uh, maybe I'll make a part two about the technical once I've discovered the technical parts of these. Um, we'll find out more about that later. But as I said, this is brilliant. The one downside to these, as far as I'm aware, your satellite needs to have an LNB that is suitable for sky hd not sky q and i say this in a lot of my videos basically it'll only work with the older systems that were sky standard definition or sky high definition the lmb on the end of the dish is the bit where the wires go into um and it must be called generally for most people set up on a black oval dish it will be called a universal lmb it might be a twin quad or single output or even an octo output but that's just the number of outputs. That's not to do with the actual technical definition of them. Just need to make sure it says universal, which is a silly name, really. Now, <laughs> I've made previous videos about wideband and universal um, LMBs, but we will quickly just show you to remind you what they are. So remember, this Manhattan box only works with the universal type. So if you're unsure what you've got, you've moved into a house, etc. Good way to tell is the amount of outputs. This is the LMB. This is the bit that sits on the end of the dish. If it's got two outputs like this, especially if they're marked V and H, chances are that is a wideband LMB for SkyQ. These will only work with SkyQ and with the ARIS, A-R-R-I-S, FreeSat boxes. Okay. Nice and simple. This is the most popular universal LMB with four outputs, what we call a quad. Say it looks something like this, but it basically have four outputs. Sometimes they will be hidden. So you've just got to look for the four holes on the bottom because you may only have two cables coming in. So that's this is the type of LMB, a universal that you need for this Manhattan FreeSat box. Should we plug it in and see what it looks like? Okay. We've got the Manhattan free box, uh, free sat box plugged in. As you can see, the first thing it does when you switch it on, it gives you an introduction message about free sat and then searches for the signal. We have a single feed in, like I said, to a universal 
And then B. So that's good. We're going to press continue. We're going to press continue and see what the next steps are. Okay, next thing it asks is for your postcode. Now, they're not tracking you <laughs> or anything here. The only reason is you just need a postcode that's local to your area um, or local to the news you want to watch. So um, I'm in the Bristol area, so mine's quite easy. I can put BS1 CD. Uh, oh, I've missed a number out there, haven't I? Let's try that again. Let's see if that's a real postcode. Oh, make sure you put a space in. That's so annoying. <laughs> yes. Okay, so one thing to remember is make sure you put a space between the first four and last three digits of your postcode. Like I said, like I was saying, that all that is for is to find your local BBC and ITV channels so you get your local news, really. that's So let it finish doing that. Okay, so it says 176 channels found, which is about right. You may get a slightly different channel amount of channel numbers. They do change them from time to time. And sometimes, obviously, if you're in Wales, you might have a few extra channels tuned in for you, like S4C. Um... Yeah, simple as that. So it just tells me to finish. And there we go. We're back onto the main screen. So just going back to the box itself, the USB socket on the side, as far as I can tell, is only for putting hardware or firmware updates in. So it doesn't really have any useful purpose to us. OK, I really hope you've injured, I've hoped I've helped you with your Manhattan SX box. If I find out more information about this box, I will let you know. As far as I can tell, the internet connection is possibly just for updates as well. It doesn't look like it uses the old style BBC iPlayer, but I am going to check that. Actually, hold on to the video. Let's give another 20 seconds and let's find out if I can access BBC iPlayer using the system they used to use on older boxes. OK, I flip through the menus and it seems that, yep, the internet connection is just to keep the box up to date with software updates. There are no smart features on this box. On older FreeSat boxes, you used to tune to channel 901 and that would show you some of the BBC iPlayer content, but not on this box. So there's an introduction into the Manhattan FreeSat box available wherever you want to buy your FreeSat box, but hopefully you'll buy it from us at freesatspares.co.uk